And welcome viewers to the first round playoff game for the Plymouth Bobcats against the Conval Cougars. I'm Gary Maycumber here with Camden Swanson and today we'll be seeing the first round playoff uh, with the Bobcats and looks like the face off with Connor McGowan and it's a wet one here today folks and looking to see if we can get the ground ball and Matt Rosner, captain, picks it up. Looks to get a clear from from midfield, he's spreading away, trying to get from this defender. Going down the middle, and ball's down. And Rosner gets it back. And previous to this, this is another rematch, but previous to this, um, the Bobcats won 12-6 to on the regular season game. And so the Conval Cougars are looking to come back from the deficits from the uh, previous game. And the ball's up top with Matt Rosner. Looking to start something up here for the Bobcats. Looks like he's going to start with a dodge. And fakes right, goes left. Uses left and dishes it out to McGowan. McGowan worms it down and that is out. But it will be Bobcats ball. And the lethal attackman from the Bobcats, Nolan Farina, has the ball. Looking to score, and he's just going to come out with it because he's going to have at least a hat trick today, folks. As he is the current holder for the for the uh, the Bobcats um, one season gold. Previous the the goal was fifty. The uh, the record was fifty three goals in a season, and Nolan Farina has gone over that with fifty eight. So today we'll see if he breaks sixty. Ball's down with Freena at X. Freena dodges left, goes right. Slips on the ground, and the ball's down, and it looks like the keeper from Convell seemed to get a clear here. Going down the roster for Convell, looks like we have number two, Hunter Gulledge, number three, Jaden Smith, number four, Cam Tracy, number five, Coleman, Manomler, and there's Daniel Spezzaferi. He's also the quarterback for, senior quarterback for Conval. Number seven, Michael Perry. Number eight, Zachary Wautsky. Number nine, Keenan Wilson. Number 11, David Weber. Number 12, Danny Parker. Number 13, Dylan Ford. Number 14, Patrick Lacoche. 15, Kyle Shearer. 16, Jake Phillips. 17, Scott Stanley. 18, Andrew Stockwell. 20, Ian LaBelle. 21, Sam West, 22, CJ Karen, and 23, Jimmy Stewart. And it is a wet one today, folks, as Farina has his first miss of the day as it hits the post, and it looks like Conval is trying to, trying to clear, but Josh Johnson, number five, defender's not having it as he's going across midfield trying to get the clear. And he gets a touch for the Bobcats and dishes it back to McGowan. McGowan gives it to Morrell. Morrell looking to give it to Farina, but the refs are going to call this one. And it looks like it was a. It looks like it was an offside for the Bobcats, so it's going to be Cougars ball. Cougars trying to get their offense going today, and and they're going really fast. And great save by Chris Patnode. Patnode's coming in, and he has the ball. Very spectacular move by Chris Patton. He's dishing out to senior captain Drew Hodges. Drew Hodges looking to get a clear for the Bobcats. And he's dishing it over to Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson crosses midfield. And he tries to give it to... Oh, and Farina tries to get it back from the bounce ball. And... And this is just, this is just a fierce one for the Bobcats today and the Cougars as well. It's a rainy day, and this is probably going to be the, one of the most memorable games of their seasons. And we have a dodge from Ethan. Ethan Richard. And a shot, but it's wide right. Now the ball's at X with senior Tyler Morrison. Tyler Morrison getting a screen from Farina. Looking to pass back to Farina as he does. Farina's at X, dodges left, goes right. And Freena's getting double teamed. So 
Cougars did their homework, and they know what kid to key off of in today's game. And they got two and a slide on Freena. Freena's sliding everywhere, trying to get something going here for the Bobcats. And we have a foul on the ground. So we have a blue hold. It's going to be white ball. There's a hold on Farina. And again, it is a rainy one here today, folks. But first playoff game for the uh, for the Bobcats, and starting to get a little bit of crowd here. Um, all the uh, students have their umbrellas and whatnot, hoods on. Parents getting soaked. And it's quite a sight to see here in uh, here in Plymouth. And the Bobcats looking to get get things rolling here as the score remains 0-0. Morell to Farina. Farina to X dodges right, goes left, and it sticks out. And it is Cougars ball as we as we can see. And they're trying to clear right now. Kids got wheels, number 13. And he has a touch for the Cougars. Bobcats do a good job getting back on defense. And the Cougars look to have a pretty fast-paced offense as they're moving the ball around. And Bobcat defense doing pretty good maintaining it. Uh, Rowan Drew on defender right now. He's on like white on rice and then number two dishes out to Axe. Axe dodges left, goes right. Uh, ball's down on the ground. Down on the ground, still anybody's ball. Looks like Austin Appleby could have had a chance but it comes up. Cougars ball. Cougars trying to get something going here. And then Rowan Drew, the shot's down. And it is Pat Nodes. Play on for the Bobcats. So if the ball hits the ground, then the Bobcats, and the timeout will be, and the foul will be called. But trying to get something going here. Ooh. And Freena's getting real shaky. Uh, Freena, rather. Ross is getting real shaky out here, showing his talents as he has a touch. Does it to Morell. Morell to Farina. Keeping it off the ground. Farina to Morrison. Morrison looking to dish to Little. Little's got it up top. Might come across here. No, it gives it to Vance Acton. Vance Acton looking to dodge the lefty striker. He's coming in. Shot. And it's slow. And he misses wide left. The shot. First shot today. Marks Morell. Farina to Morell. And that's the first one today, folks. Bobcats are up 1-0 with 5.25 remaining. And looks like Zach Ross taking the face off as he scrapes it between his legs, gives it to number nine, senior captain, Matt Rosner. And looks like Con Conval's defense is getting a little more uh, antsy as they're playing a little tighter on Rosner. <laughs> and now the ball's down to Farina, lethal. And now we have another... It looks like the Bobcats are just kind of dishing it side to side. Getting a couple screens. Getting a couple screens. Roscoe's going around the horn here as he almost dishes it to Morrison. But that was good luck by, uh, by the sophomore, Zach Ross. All right. And the dish back. Fran has it. Fran, and they're on him. They're on him today, folks. They don't want Fran to get in above 60. And it looks like to be a foul and maybe a push. Push is going to be a white ball. It's going to be a white ball and the ball is going to get up to Zach Ross. Ross looking to dodge here. Fakes left, goes right, and the shot! And that's the first one for Ross today. And the Bobcats are up two. Two unanswered, 4-13 remaining in the first quarter.
sweating Ten fucking out. Four. Like and an hour ago. I was like sweating in the heat an hour ago. Yeah, bro, I got to up. Connor McGowan on the faceoff for the Bobcats. Looks like he's going to come up with a ground ball, but struggling. The Cougars are back with it. Nolan Farina chasing down and almost had it. Up. They call an offside. Calling offsides on Farina. Yeah, Farina's just, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a tough one for Farina. He, he tried. He was playing, he's playing hard defense, and now he's he's getting penalized for it. Can't, couldn't keep it himself um, on the right side. He just had too much momentum. So the Bobcats man down, got man down defense to see how the Cougars respond. So uh, Camden, what would you say that the key was for you guys beating the Cougars in, in the regular season as the, as the Cougars have their first point? So they can shoot, they have an offense, they're good on man down, but what was the key for you guys to winning uh, the regular season game? Uh, keep the ball moving a lot and really run the plays and look at your opportunities. All right, now the, uh, the score diminishes, uh, the lead diminishes a little bit for the Bobcats as it is 2-1 with 3.45 remaining in the first quarter. Uh, but this is a pretty fast-paced game today as, you know, the ball's going from either side, you know, not, not too many fouls. It's got a good pace to it. Again, Connor McGowan on the faceoff. It looks like we're struggling for a ground ball here. It's wet, slippery. And the ball's down, but Conville comes back up with it. Looking to start up their offense here as up up top. Number 12 had a hell of a shot on left corner, <laughs> top left corner, against Chris Patton at his weak side, or strong side. And the ball's down. Rowan Drew picks it up looking for a clear, but well, two, ball's yeah, knocked number down. Two, number two from Conville, good defense on him. It's going to be a white ball, good call by the ref. And Chris Patno giving it to Rosner. Rosner's going to do a little shake and bake, but he's going to get the ground ball first. And yeah, Rosner, he's going to take this from coast to coast. Number two is trying to stay with him. Nope, not happening. Rosner crosses midfield, looking to get a touch. And gets a touch. The veteran, uh, Captain Matt Rosner, is very well known for his clears because of his speed and his, and his, uh, his smoothness with his feet. Bobcats are looking for an offensive play. Morrison to Vance and back to Rosner. Looks like he might be pulling out for a dodge. Fran, uh, oh, Ross. So the Conval defense has done a very good job putting the stick in the, uh, the Bobcats offense's chest and, you know, ripping out the stick and getting the ball down on the ground. That's pretty much. Pretty much the key to their turnovers and to their offense so far. Looks like we have some scouting from other coaches today on the field. Looking to see what their uh, their next opponent's gonna be like. Looks like Vance Atkins is taking the uh, clear here for the Bobcats. The lefty striker, he shoots and it hits a Cougar defender. And the Cougars got the ball. Ooh, almost, almost by uh, Morrell there. Oh, snag the pass, and double Ooh, team Freya defense. Trying to get something going here, but he's not going offsides this time. Learns from his mistakes. Twenty three, he's got an alley, and great defense by the Bobcats. Good stop. The ball's on the ground, and Pat Nodes back in net, which is a good sight to see. Seems to be that the Conval's key here is to have a fast-paced offense to get the uh, the Bobcats um, a little a little not ready for what they have in store and getting them by surprise. Great save by Chris Patnode. Patnode looking to clear the ball, run it up. Can't seem to find any open a player. And he gives it to Matt Rosner. Surprise, surprise. Matt Rosner finds. Josh Johnson, Josh in, the Johnson in the midfield. Yeah, that was a great, great, that's a great look by Rosner. Ooh, good look by Little. Fran's got the ball. 
He's got three on. They had three uh, defenders on Farina. And the clock's winding down with uh, 15 seconds remaining in the first first quarter. Ooh. Ooh. Two shots by Morrell, one deflected and one missed. Yeah, there's seven seconds left. Freya looking to dodge. And does a good spin move. Ooh. And just, they're playing good defense. Conval, give it to them. They're, getting, they're playing good defense against the Bobcats. And... They know what they want to do. They want to give it to uh, Farina and the and X and have him dodge and just work his magic. And Conval's just not having it today. But we're going to take a quick break here as the Bobcats are leading 2-1. to one. Um, And we're going to the second quarter. Number 12 uh, had a snipe. The only goal today for the Cougars. And looks like Conval's going to start the offense with a dodge. Dish it off to number 18, or 16 rather. And X at Conval, trying to get something down. You got big Rowan Drew on him. And Conval, ooh, great defensive play by Matt Rosner. Matt Rosner pushing, shoving, trying to get that ball. And number 12, watch out for him. Great ground ball. Saying it's pushed from White. And they're going to give it back to number 12. Conville moving the ball around, trying to look for an opportunity, but struggling. Bobcats defense is playing very tight right now. Conval still trying to move the ball around, but do not seem to see any opportunities. But take a shot from out by the restraining box and miss. And that was number 12 again. As he's got a fast shot. Um, and he seemed pretty accurate on his first one. A little wild on his second. Um, Rowan Drew on that defender. But it looks like an illegal screen from uh, Conval as, they were, as he was run, kind of running into Rowan Drew to stop him. Looks like we're going to be playing man down defense, and this is how uh, Conval capitalized on the last uh, on the last scoring opportunity, and <coughs> and hopefully the Bobcats can uh, can defend uh, can defend this one. And Conval working things, trying to get in between the Plymouth defense, doing a pretty good job getting them uh, out of there. Um, Rowan Drew playing a little wild, not going to lie, he's playing a little wild. And almost a shot from, ooh, that's another score for Conval. They tie it up. And, you know, that's that's been uh, the weakness for the Bobcats, man down, you know. And Conval keeps, does a very good job at passing it, and they, that, they found Bobcats' weakness, and that is man down defense. Again, Connor McGowan on the faceoff for the Bobcats. I'd like to say that there's a very good turnout today for a crowd here. It's probably one of the most packed games I've ever seen here at uh, here at Plymouth. We got plenty of fans from the uh, from the students uh, to parents to visitors. Ooh, and a missed pass for the uh, the Cougars. A lot of defensive communication on the Bobcats end. Looking to try to clean up their man down defense right now. Oh, I'm sorry, they are at regular defense. Ooh. Drew Hodges on the clear. Drew Ooh. Hodges to Ross and Ross gets the ball. Ross is going to show his speed, see if he can do anything on this fast break. Oh, and he misses Morrison as it stays in and Freya capitalizes on that and gets the ground ball. Farina going to X, trying to work his match. His left goes, fakes left, goes right. Um, with a no look pass, gives it to Rosser. Rosser, oh, and can't get it down because Conville defense doing a very good job. Gives it to Rosser. Rosser winds up and he scores with a bounce, bounce shot. That's Rosner. 
Matt Rosner with the score. And Conville thought they had the defense going on, but uh, it looked like Richard, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Richard to Rosner, or it was McGowan to Rosner. I think it was McGowan to Rosner, as the, uh, as that was just an incredible goal. As uh, Conville defense shifted towards um, McGowan as as Rosner uh, missed, the sh uh, missed the initial attempt. And then McGowan dished it back to Rosner for the shot. Now Bobcats back in the lead, 3-2, with 8.56 remaining in the second quarter. And looks like the Cougars are going to win the, uh, the face-off the face outright. And now they're waiting for their uh, the players to get back in, start their offense. Conval settling the ball at the top of the box right now. Another drop pass could be a good opportunity for Plymouth to capitalize. Looks like we're moving the ball down to below the goal line. Try and drive up. Ron Drew playing some pretty tight defense. And they both slip. They both slip down. Looks like it might be a foul. Calling a hold. Yeah, they're calling a hold on uh, Ron Drew. They both fell down. And I can see that, but it looks like Bobcats are going to face another man down defense. Which, without key defenseman Rowan Drew, that's going to be a tough one as every single goal has been because of man down defense for for um, for the Conval Cougars. And let's see if they can capitalize yet again. They're two for two. Let's see if they can go three for three. Great at work in the Bobcat defense. Keeping a hot pass, giving it, keeping it flush in. Shot from number four, a little high. And it's going to stay here for Conval. Conval with a good look, but doesn't seem to be able to keep that ball on his stick right now. And Have him drive through the funnel and ooh. take a shot. And, and it's another it's score. Another score for uh, Conval. This is a great game, folks. It's staying within one score of each other. And Conval gets another one on man down defense from the Bobcats. And that's been that's been the recipe today as uh, the Bobcats can't stop um, Cooper's offense on on their man down. Typically, and the Bobcats' man down defense is a lot sturdier than this, but it seems today like it's their weak point. The Cougars are really capitalizing on moving the ball around really fast. A lot of motion seems to be tripping up the Bobcats right now. Yeah, and I, yeah, I totally agree. And, you know, the Bobcats just going to have to try to man up and try to do something with that. Face off McGowan. McGowan tried swimming. Ball went down. Looks to settle down the offense a little bit more, try to get a lead back here. As he gets a touch, dishes it over to Richard. Richard looking to make a play off this. Judges to the right alley, Ooh, shot, and shot it's low. a save. Gowan trying to get a ground ball here. Ball's up, ball's up, Morrell. Morrell to Farina. Farina gets an opening. Oh, great save by the Cougars. By the Cougars goalie. Oh, and they're going to call a push. Play on. Yep. It's going to be blue ball. Tom Morris and push on the goalie. Curry's taking the ball up the field to defenseman number eight. Blue calls and a timeout. Yeah, it's going to be a timeout for the Cougars. So recap on what just happened. Again, the uh, Conval Cougars are three for three on man down plays against the, uh, against the Bobcats. And... Yeah, that's the that's that's the only way they're scoring today. It looks like because they haven't had any other opportunities otherwise. And uh, what's your thoughts on that, Swanson? I would agree. All right, good to hear. Like number sixteen for the Cougars just receives a touch pass to number twelve and third twenty three, trying to drive into in front of the crease, but takes a digger in the mud. Conval recovers the ball. Looks to be moving around a bit. Again, trying to find a shooting opportunity, but right now the Bobcats defense is playing really tight. Not much cushion, but is really seeming to be effective. Yeah, that's a good observation. It looks like the Bobcats playing man. A good screen by Conval. 
Yeah, great save by Chris Patton. It was right to his chest, but a great, great clear. It looks like it's going to be a fast break for, for Rosner. Rosner fakes left. Oh, was that a shot? It was that a shot, Rosner? Looked like a pass to Farina. Might have, might have just been a little inaccurate, but... Conval goalie was able to pick off that, whether it was a pass or a shot, he recovered and was clearing it. Kind of unsure what the, uh, the flag is. We'll have to see what, uh, what results. Say. Again, huge crowd for both Conval and Plymouth Bobcats today. Yeah, great turnout as, you know, the sun came out a little bit and uh, creatures from all over came out of their caves to watch this game. Conval on the man down defense. Plymouth hopefully can capitalize on this. Looks like Ryan Kelly from uh, Interlakes. Star player from Interlakes uh, is here today. We have a great turnout again for the Plymouth Bobcats. And a little recap, it is tied here, 3-3 with 5.44 remaining. And in the second quarter. And it's a very good game against the Conval Cougars and the Plymouth Bobcats. Uh, Bobcats playing really tight, man D. Great slide, ball, a great save by Chris Patnoad. And Austin, ooh, it looks like an injury timeout. Oh, and it looks like a slash maybe. Slash maybe by uh, number 30, Captain Drew Hodges. And yet again, the Bobcats are man down. And let's see if they uh, scrape their wounds a little bit. And... Uh, and try to and try to stop the uh, the Cougars from uh, capitalizing on their mistakes. Just a shot right to Chris Patton out. Patton out has it, and dishes it over to Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson looking to give it to somebody. Gives it to Rosner. Great, great idea. Spin move, and Rosner gets a touch, showing a little bit of flash here today. And looks like a double team on Rosner, and Rosner's going to split the defense. Bob and weaving. Ooh, ooh, ball's down, and Rosner gets it back up and gets the ground ball. Looks like Plymouth was trying to settle their offense there, but was struggling, so it seemed to call a timeout. So it's man down offense for the Bobcats, and this is the first time in the game for them to have that. And we don't really know what's going to happen, but um, do you know what to expect from the, uh, the Plymouth offense? Uh, I suspect maybe they'll just try to move the ball quick, do a lot of cutting, try to get into the hole, and possibly get some good shots off, and we'll have to see what they come up with. All right, the Bobcats are going to be looking to get in the hole. Timeout, Plymouth Bobcats. All right, and we're back here from the timeout. Bobcats are going, and it is tied again, 3-3 uh, three, three here with 4.44 remaining in the second quarter. And it looks to be Bobcats ball. Bobcats ball, their man down offense here. And um, and Matt Ross has got a touch. Matt Ross has got a touch. And the double teaming on Matt Ross. There. Matt Ross splits the defense. And he's just, he's just playing with his food today and gives it to gives it to Farina. Farina is going to do the exact same as the double team is just chasing them like a, like a herd, of, herd of sheep here. And Farina is fake. fake uh, trying, trying to give it back and gives it to Little. Looks like a flag from the Cougars defense playing a little rough on Farina <laughs> and it is it is man down oh wait it's even now because there's am I right it's even now take a second and see what comes up out of this yeah, hold on we got one two three four Against one, two, three, four, five. All right now we're man up. We're man up now. We're man up. And that's the first shot for me, the Richard, showing a little flash here. As he scores. Top right corner. 
fast shot, and the Bobcats back in the lead, four to three. And you know, just start start of the quarter, or uh, start from the um, little timeout there, or the foul foul timeout, and Bobcats really caught the Cougars off guard there. Yeah, and looks like they're having a little team huddle in the front of the goalie here, trying to keep spirits high. And we're back, folks. Looks like we're going to have a uh, face-off here. Uh, Bobcats just uh, capitalized on Cougars, uh, on Cougars man down. And it is going to be, it's going to be blue ball. Looks like false start from uh, Zach Ross. Zach Ross, a little, little hackling on number, number seven here. Number seven looking to give it to their best player, number 12, as he dishes it right to him. Number 12, Conval, Danny Parker. Looking to try to move around on Austin Appleby a little bit. Doesn't seem to be working out for him. At the top of the box, Cougars are really trying to compact their offense, move around, and confuse the Bobcats. But looks like right. the uh, yeah, it looks like the recipe to the uh, to uh, to the Cougars here is just screens, fast passes, and that's how they get the uh, Bobcats defense off guard as they just do it again with a fast pass, and that's a number. That's number twelve. No, that's number twenty-three. Number twenty-three for the score for the. Uh, for the Cougars, and now we're back tied, 4-4 with 3:21 remaining in the in the second period. And the face-off with McGowan balls up, balls up, and Rosser tries to get the ground ball, goes right by it, and, and McGowan chews it to himself, and he's going to look to get the touch against number 15 here, and spin moves, gets the touch, gives it to Rosner, and it's going to be, yep, yeah, it's going to be a, uh, what do they call that again? Over Cameron, and back. Yeah, going to be an over and back for the Bobcats uh, as it changes possession to the Cougars. Cougars have a touch, and they have it on 12. Screen by number seven on the Cougars, and it looks like they're moving the ball around again. Soon they're running the same offense every time. A little bit random, but has seemed to work out. Ooh, and another score, and this is the first time that the Bobcats have been um, been losing in this game as it is 5-4 now leading Conval and this is a this is a surprise for the Bobcats as last time they uh they won the game 12 to 6 um doubling the score last in the uh, regular season game and today Cougars are showing that they can uh they can uh, come back from their mistakes and show them what kind of a team they are the Bobcats just kind of have to respond here as the face off start, starts with McGowan Matt Rosner with the ground ball for the Bobcats. Really using his legs to work up the field. Outrunning the Cougars. Doesn't seem to be a fast break play, but looks like they could have opportunity, but Rosner chooses to settle the ball for the Bobcats, running a good offense. Wow, it looked like a good look from McGowan. McGowan wanted it right there as, uh, as he was catching his defender uh, off guard. And another... And another fake by a couple of fakes by uh, Ethan Richard, trying to get something going here. We got some dark clouds rolling in here. Might be some more rain on the way. And Freen dodges left. It's getting slippery out there, folks. Finds McGowan up top alone. McGowan looking, looking, looks like he's gonna give a dodge here. And looking left, looking right. Dodges goes right, passes defender, and the ball's down. And that was just. 
McGowan's looking to get the ball back here. And it's a it's a rough one here for the Bobcats. And Cougars. That was uh, some physical uh, defense there. <coughs> and Flags are flying again. We'll have to see what the call is here. Looks like the, the change in midfield here. And it is one, two, three, four, five. We've got five defenders here. Again, Bobcats on the man down defense. Does not seem to be working in their favor today. Cougars are looking again to move the ball around very quickly, trying to find the open man. Right now, Bobcats are playing tight, really seem to be holding them off so far, hopefully learning from their mistakes. A lot of rotation here. Oh, Convell almost had the open man there. Oh, great out. play by uh, Rowan Drew as he shoves the, uh, the, uh, the offense. The, looked like three guys of the offense out of the way as... Uh, and now we're looking to see what Chris Patno can do as the ball's down. Get back in the net. Chris Patno looking to get back in the net. And we have Jake Little in goal. And it's another score. It's another score for the uh, for the Convell Cougars with 36 seconds remaining. And Chris Patno was trying to clear and he left the net and we had two they had two defenders on him and got the ball down and, and had Jake Little in that. Game does not seem to be working in the Bobcats' favor today. 36 seconds, Bobcats down, 4-6. to six. Looks like Zach Ross is taking the face off again for the Bobcats with the assist of Austin Appleby and Vance Acton on the wings. And we got 36 seconds remaining in the half here, and let's hope halftime can be a little bit better for the Bobcats. Started off hot, and now it looks like man down. It's just, that's, that is, that is uh, what's killing the Bobcats here today. And back here with the Cougars on offense. And they're having a timeout. Looked like they might be having a trick, trick play here. But uh, we're going to leave it at that for the timeout. With four, six, four to six, Bobcats are losing with 18 seconds left remaining in the half. Back from the timeout. Cougars moving the ball up. Austin Apple will be playing tight defense right now, trying to... Really keep the Cougars out and ball down. Matt Rosner with the ground ball and really working it up the field. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. And time expires. Time expires to halftime. And the Bobcats are losing right now. Six to four. Conval's up. And we'll be back after the half. All right. Welcome back from the uh, the timeout from halftime. Bobcats are losing 6-4 uh, to four, and a little bit more on the other games going out through uh, throughout the state here. Uh, we have Hopton number one versus Bishop Brady. Um, Hopton's only winning 3-2 uh, to two, um, at the end of the first and we, uh, the Bobcats play uh, the winner of that game so we'll uh, keep you in tune with that. Also um, Keir Sarge and Trinity uh, number two and number seven um, playing at Keir Sarge and Monadnock number three against number six Laconia at Monadnock is also playing within the state and uh, and the winner of this game goes to uh, Laconia High School 7 p.m. June 7th and then after that it's uh, it's Bill Ball sta uh, Stadium on the 10th so it'll be interesting how the rest of this game pans out because it's been such an emotional swing uh, left and right in Bobcats' favor and to the Cougars' favor. So we'll just see, uh, um, see if the best man wins in this one. As the Bobcats get the ground ball and it's starting to rain a little bit more now and the umbrellas are out. Um, oh man, yeah, and the Bobcats looking to start their offense again. As they got to make themselves up from a two-point deficit. Ooh, ball is down. And Rosser gets the ball taken away from him. He's playing a little too, uh, a little too uh, flashy. And that's, uh, that's, uh, that looks like what's going to be his weakness today. And, um, and here we go again. The Cougars looking to start their offense. Cougars are really trying to keep the ball away from the Bobcat defense as it seems to be working out for them so far today. 
Right now we're up above the restraining line, number 12, making a dodge into the right alley, shot and a and goal. score, bottom left. Unfortunately, the Bobcats are not having the strongest game today, but we will see if they're able to pull through with anything special. This is an unfortunate uh, time as the Bobcats started out hot, 2-0, and now they're now they're in a uh, three-point deficit here, 7-4. And the uh, Conval Cougars' favor. Um, 10:57 remaining. You know, it's only been a minute and three seconds in, in into the uh, into the second half. So, anything can happen here, folks. It is lacrosse. Number seven for the Cougars, Michael Perry wins a face-off against Zach Ross, and Bobcats already recover with a clear. Good look from Patno to Appleby, but he is pushed down on the ground by number 22, CJ Carsons from the Cougars. Carsons looked like he laid a lick on uh, Appleby here, put him straight on his feet. Stewart, Stewart, that was Stewart. Karen, it was Karen, CJ Karen. We're all over the place with uh, Conval's, um, Conval's names and uh, I'd like to make a Pemmy Baker TV apology to all visitors that come to Plymouth as we butcher every name possible. And Bob Bobcat, Bobcat defense really working the Cougars right now. Rowan Drew doing a good job. It just had a hit to the helmet. Oh. See two flags down, probably just one penalty though. Another man down for the Bobcats is not going to be working in their favor. And it looks like uh, playoff life for the Bobcats outside of the first round is twinkling down um, as the seconds go by here. And just one thing after another is just not going in the favor of the Bobcats. And, and it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to watch sometimes. Now we're man down again. It looks like it's going to set Cougars up for another goal as they've been 4-4 four for four on, on man down plays, maybe even 5-5. Five for five. Plymouth with another recovery. Chris Patno, number eight for the Bobcats, looking to clear the ball again, trying to find a good opportunity. The thing that's nice to watch about Chris Patno is that he's got a little bit of re resilience uh, from him. He can get hit, but he's going to get he's going to bounce right back even after his uh, his struggle um, late in the uh, in the in the first half. Ball right to Rosner on the second or the offensive half of the field for the Bobcats, looking to get a touch. Now the Aze, he might be settling the ball down for good offensive play. Switching with Morell and down to X behind the goal line to Farina. Right now Farina looks to be calling a play. Hopefully the Bobcats can find something to do with this. Well, Farina cuts in. Ooh, Ooh, Farina looking looking to assist Morrell, but he can't get the pass down. Farina is looking looking hungry for a lick on defense here, as the Cougars are trying to get their uh, trying to get their uh, their clear, and Bobcats are really showing a little bit of effort here as they're trying to get back from their deficit. And it's another shot outside the net. Chris Patno takes the ball and clears it to Rosner. Rosner looks like he's going to run it up the field again. Bobcats really need to work on their settled offense today. Their fast breaks aren't going in their favor right now. Ooh. Pass to Morrell, but goes out, and the Cougar will be recover the ball. And we got Ty Morrison on number 20. And looks like Farina, Farina hungry for a hit. Oh, and is he, as he, Farina looking puzzled as he's, uh, could be over uh, offsides here. Roger dishes him back his stick, but the game goes on. Cougars looking to get a little bit of offense going on here, try to increase their score even more. As Farina did realize the ball was off, or the call was on an offsides play, he runs down to try to help the Bobcats on defense. That is the second offsides uh, 
penalty from uh, Nolan Ferreira. You know, he's showing a lot of effort, but he's not staying controlled. And um, that's that could be probably his only weakness today, um, as he's trying to uh, try and work his dodges, but he's got two men on him, and that will be the second one for Farina. Again, the Bobcats are going to be working in a man down defense against the Cougars. Regular offense. Cougars starting the ball on the wing with number 17. Looks like they're not having a lot of movement yet. Probably going to see a lot of repetition from the Cougars. They're moving the ball around the outside right now. Bobcats are really. Working on the offense. Great save, Great by, save by Pat Node, but looks like a hold call on Rowan Drew, number 13, for the Bobcats. And we're going to have to see what comes out with these penalties right here. And White's looking to get their heads back here as Coach Mousoff takes time out, but it will be. Um, it will be four or seven to four. Um, Conval's uh, leading with seven seventeen remaining in the third quarter. Back from the timeout, seventeen four. The Cougars with the ball on the wing, looking like trying to push on Austin Appleby but it is not working in his favor. Whistles everywhere right now. Yeah, the field's littered with whistles. Tons and of confusion right now. Looks like we're starting at the top of the box again with number four from the Cougars. And there are three defenders for the Bobcats looking to looking to make a miracle here. And and looks like Conval is just seeing which one they're picking their poison here as they're seeing which guy wants to shoot it. And they're looking left and right. We got another man back, so now it's only man down for the Bobcats. We've got four people. There are two man down. There was three. We can get the offsides penalty here soon. Cougar's As really breaking in the hole. Hits off up the pipe. Yeah, and Kevin Swanson and I are just struggling against each other, trying to express our emotions here. A shot from the Cougars, and it goes in again. That. Leaves 6.35 in the third quarter. Bobcats down 4-8. Back from the last goal, number 14 from the Bobcats, Zach Ross on the faceoff. 21 and 9 for the Bobcats on the wing. Conval seems to win the faceoff, see if they can pick the ground ball. Number 7 picks it up, pass to the top of the box with number 16 from the Cougars. Matt Rosner picks up the offensive player, number four for the Cougars. And Ball's give, down. give a little update for the uh, the other game. Um, Hopkins is up five to two against Bishop Brady. Great save by Chris Patton. Spin move, Matt Rosner. Matt Rosner looking up, uses speed here. Goes guys, uh, goes cross uh, midfield here. Gets a touch. Tries to dish it to Farina. Farina trying to get something going here. And Farina dodges left, goes right. Gets pushed. Pushed, shoved, and annihilated. But it's nice to see those uh, those Bobcat shorts dirty and jerseys dirty. Because this looks like a fun game as, as, um, as the Bobcats are losing. But conditions are more fun in the rain. Looks like the Bobcats are... Man up right now. Working the game could be working in their favor for a little bit. Van Sacken to Matt Rosner at the top of the box down to Nolan Farina on the wing. Tyler Morrison, number 29 at X to Marcus Morrell. Bobcats are doing a great job moving the ball around right now. Looking to feed Morrison and another and goal for the Bobcats. A score for the Bobcats eight. coming back up. Bobcats did a really good job there, moving the ball around, finding the best opportunity to shoot, and they did come out and with another goal, 5-8 with 5.24 left in the third quarter. Cougars just breaking from a, uh, a huddle at uh, 
front of the goal, trying to keep their moral support and uh, keep their hopes high here. But I would not be surprised to see it come back here from the Bobcats, as they do usually run clutch. But we're going to see it here on the faceoff. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be won by the Cougars. McGowan showing a little bit of fight here. And number 13 looking to clear for the, uh, get a touch here rather, for the Cougars. And gets a touch. Looking to dish it out to somebody. Doesn't want to get it to X. Gives it to the wing. Um, then we're back up top. This guy looking to give a dodge here. Number four. Number four also has a couple goals. A pair of goals today for, uh, for the Cougars. Looks left goes right. Great slide. Oh, and a shot. Just leave. There was two slides for the Bobcats. And Josh Johnson left his man for a slide. And number four capitalized on that. Gives the pass over to number 16. 16. Shot right into the net. And that's what's been happening today as Bobcats can't seem to stop the Cougars' offense here as they're passing schemes and their, and their uh, the other uh, forms of offense have just been really well, such as screens, such as just just good offense for the, uh, for the Cougars here. And we got a face-off here for Zach Ross here for Bobcats. Tripped up at... Uh, the midfield here. Ross a little rattled. Looks like a missed pass. And Bobcat struggling to get a ball here, and it looks like again a push call. Oh, it's gonna be white. It's gonna be white ball. Bobcats really had to fight work for that ground ball there. Got the call, and Rosner and really. Oh, Rosner getting a little shove here. Rosner's down and late flag. Yeah, it's going this way. It's going this way at 17, a little too much push here. White the with the ball again, Bobcats working man up offense right here. Looks like they're subbing in certain players for their offense. We're gonna have Rosner up at the midfield starting with the ball for the Bobcats. We're gonna have to see what the outcome is here. Vance acting back to Matt Rosner. Oh, it looks like we had a failed skip pass attempt. Cougars come up with the ball and are working Matt it Rosner down the field. looking for a little bit of revenge here. Ooh, and he does, and he gets the stick here, but the ground, ball's down. Good hit by Ethan Richard. Ethan Richard, it looks like it's gonna be clean. Cougars are still working the ball down the field really well. Matt Rosner just Matt Rosner. misses it. Bobcats check. playing a little bit of fight here as they're only down by four. Clock okay. winding down to 3.40, uh, remaining in the third quarter. Number two for Caval, goes left, goes right. Looks to have a looper here, and giving it to Rosner. Rosner trying to accelerate through. Wants to dish it off here, but he's got two defenders on him. Bobcats aren't really helping him out here, and and great, great uh, clearing play here as Rosner goes on the other side, gives it to Johnson. Johnson gives him the clear. Flags up. Could be because of verbal uh, from Matt Rosner, but we're not sure here yet. Could be also offsides, but we'll see what happens there. Rosner's coming back down to play on the offensive end of the field. Right now the ball's with Richard at X. Coming up on the wing, trying to come up with something here. Right now, the Cougars are triple teaming. Oh, and, he... and whistles again everywhere. Stick is down. Cougars are picking up the ball. It was an offside, it looks like, from the Bobcats. Hmm. Looks like the Bobcats will be having the ball again. Number 19, Marcus Morrell on the wing. Conval is playing some, uh, some mean defense as well. Um, tagging on their... Tagging on their uh, on their opponent and just just well rounded on their defense. But definitely not unstoppable. Nineteen Marcus Morrell on the wing, starting with the ball up to seventeen, Vance Acton. Back to Rosner. 
White is really trying to move the ball around a lot right now. To Marcus Morell and another goal for the Bobcats brings that up to 6-9. 2.26 in the third quarter. Bobcats really did a good job there moving the ball around. Caught Conval off guard there. Really could be looking at a comeback for the Bobcats. We'll have to see what happens. It's only three goals. Three goals can happen in a very short amount of time. And, um, and hopefully that uh, gives the Bobcat spirits up a little bit as they've been down pretty much the whole entire second half of the game. Number 14 for the Bobcats, Zach Ross on the faceoff again. You have number one, Austin Appleby and 25, Jake Little on the wings. Cougars seem to really be doing a good job with these faceoffs this year, especially picking up the ground balls. Does not seem to be working in Bobcat's favor. A lot of scrapping over there on the opposite side of the field. Back to number 13 on the Cougars. Ooh, Does not perfect. look like the potential for a fast break offense, but Bobcats right now are holding them off good. And ball down. Looks like it was just hit to the end line by it's, Austin Appleby. It's staying in here. Great dish back from uh, Johnson. A good effort here. Slide by Ross. And wide open, number 23, wide left. As that's going inside the minivan or past it? Oh, it's bouncing back and forth off cars right now. Uh, looked like it was, uh, it could have been a, a hole in one inside the minivan, but uh, maybe next time for number 23. Again, Cougars are really moving the ball around, trying to get the Bobcats off guard. Right now, Patna was just getting back in the net. Cougars really working that ball around. Back to number 12 at the top of the box in 23. Trying to find a good offensive opportunity. Oh, offense. Ball's down on, Ball's the down on the ground. Everywhere, everybody's poking at it, trying to get at something. And it's coming up, number 12, the, uh, the lethal one from uh, for the Cougars. And great shot for, for Johnson. And, and sorry to say, Ross is going everywhere which way. He's sliding left, he's sliding right. Maybe even a belly slide or a penguin slide in the end of the day. But he's doing well on his defense. And see if the Bobcats can capitalize on this clear with 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Nolan Freen at the top of the Dodge. box. Faking out yeah, all these looks defenders. Like it's spin move. Oh, oh it's down. out. Still on the ground. That flag is around. up. Could be a man down opportunity for the Bobcats. And Farina's getting annihilated in this game today. 6-9 in the third quarter. Eight seconds left. Looks like defense uh, for the Cougars is man down again. Good opportunity for the Bobcats to capitalize and really... Short in this deficit. Gonna have to see what the Bobcats have in store for these next eight seconds. If they're going to run the timeout, run the clock, or they're gonna try to move the ball around really quick and score again. We're on the wing with Marcus Morrell right here. They're locking on uh, 28 Nolan Friend as they know this could be the the way that uh, Bobcats get there. It looks like we're just going to keep possession here as time expires. End of the third quarter, Bobcats down 6-9. We'll see you in the fourth. Back at the fourth quarter, Sun is back out. Looking like the Bobcats want to come out hot on this one. We're at X with Nolan Farina. We're already trying to work the ball, a missed pass, and two Richard. A good save. Here's our, our Conval goalie. We have the, looks like to be the Conval's uh, girlfriend uh, fan page here um, at the top of the bleachers in, the, in Plymouth here. And they're, they're excited for the fourth quarter as, uh, as, as, as are we. And, um, and we're looking to see something from the Bobcats here, getting a comeback. At least getting three, uh, at least getting three goals to tie this thing up and getting it right to overtime.
Bobcats defense really working on the ball right now, working the hands of the Convo Cougars. Looking to see a response from the uh, the Plymouth fans. Well, let's go Plymouth here. A Maybe great not. pass from number five, Josh Johnson to 28. Next Nolan left goes Freena. right. Freena, great oh. save, great save. And to number 12 on the Cougars, Ethan Richard playing him already. Couldn't ask for a better save for uh, Conval goalie there. Ooh, and it looks like this could be happening again. Great box out by Rowan Drew. And the ball's to Appleby. Appleby to Morrell. Morrell looking to fake out number 18. Bobcats just got their touch. Ball's still with Morrell. He's working back up to the top of the box. Right to Jake Little. We're going to see if he does anything with the ball. Passes and is intercepted. Ball's on the ground. McGowan, Ooh, McGowan tried to dish it. And we got... We're out of bounds right now. Cougars <laughs> ball. Let's see how this clear works out for them. Maybe the Bobcats can work something in between them. Looks like the lack of depth in the uh, in the Bobcats uh, lineup here is kind of showing because you know the Bobcats looking a little tired, and we have Morrell oh, right to the goalie, and he misses. Great save by the goalie. It was one on one, and goalie one there for uh, for Mel. Oh, looks like Bobcats gonna have another possession here. Nolan Farina coming Nolan with a dive, and he scores! Another goal. And he goal. scores! 7-9 Bobcats, 9-34 in the fourth quarter. Looks like this could be a good comeback for him. It's about time to see the Bobcats uh, Bobcats back on the bar, as well as Farina. Farina's looking to get a couple more goals here today. What a great effort by Nolan Farina. Bobcats really are seeming to catch Conval Cougars off guard right now. It is working in their favor so far. We're going to see if they can keep that up in the fourth quarter. That seems to be uh, Farina's favorite to, to dive um, in front of the goalie as they don't know where it's going. That's, uh, that's been seen uh, a couple of times this year, this season. Back again with Ross on the faceoff for the Bobcats. Looks like he wins it, but a Cougar picks it up off the ground. Number one, Austin Apple, tries to play him. Quick pass to number 17. They get their touch, and right now, the Cougars are playing at the top of the box. You have to see what they do with the ball here. Ball's on the wing, going down to X. Number five, Josh Johnson playing <laughs> tight below the goal line on number two. Ball is down. And the Conval girlfriends are storming the field here. Trying to show their team spirit. School spirit, rather. Looks like now that the sun is out, Bobcats are feeling a little bit more motivated. A little bit less rain is going to help out. Ball's down, number 16, Drew Hodges. Trying to give offensive and a little scare. This could be one of the most clutch comebacks in, uh, in uh, NHI AA Division III uh, men's class history if the Bobcats come back here um, as, a, as a big deficit of five points coming back from this game. Cougars again really trying to move the ball across the field. Cannot seem to find any good looks right now. Bobcats are really picking up their defense. So they got, they got some energy back. A dodge from number 12 breaks into the funnel, but the ball is down. Chris Patno picks up the ball and looking for a good clear. Gonna hold the ball until he needs to Ross. And looks like Farina might get the ground ball here. Farina's got the ground ball. Great box out. Farina looking to get another score. Gives it to Morrell. Great save. Morrell's got to end up doing something with that shot as he keeps shooting high. He needs to shoot low. Fake fake high, shoot low. He needs to do something. A little bit less predictable. The goal oh, really my scored. God. And, and had the goalie out of, outside the net and um, couldn't do anything about it. And the Bobcats tried shooting, uh, tried dishing it to from Morrison to, to Farina, but it didn't end up going well for them. 
as it was intercepted by a Conval defender. Now we got the ball on the other side of the field. And it is a fight a lot to of fit us here. A lot of scrapping out there. Looks like the ball is in favor for the Bobcats right now. Matt Rosner is picking it up and looks like he's going to run it down again. Really a good specialty that he has. A very quick and shifty player for the Bobcats. Same with Nolan Farina. Looks and like he might try to settle an offense and possibly run a play, but... Conval girlfriend squad is in awe as they watch the, uh, the lead diminish here for the Bobcats. The Conval Cougars are only winning by two here, 9-7 Conval. And anything is possible here with 6.35 remaining in the last quarter. The fan section seems to be really, really excited now that there's a lot of energy in this game. Incited indeed. Cougars seem to really be struggling with it. Ooh, no would have been a down. great dish uh, for the Cougars. And Ross is going to come up with it as he flicks it up, gives it to himself. And he strikes it to Appleby, goes across midfield. Farina trying to get the ground ball, gets slashed over the head. And Farina trying to come back up with it as Austin Appleby gets the ground ball. Gnarly pass, but gets it to Little somehow. Little gets a touch, and we're winding down here with 5.45 remaining. And he's going to give it to Rosner. Rosner going to try to jazz up this offense a little bit, try to get another score. Austin Alpert just subbed off Ooh. number 17, Vance Acton, on the offense. Nolan Farina's got the ball on the wing, and it looks like we're going to try to break into the funnel. But Great job on the down. defense for, uh, for Conval here. Number 25, Conval, trying to clear the ball. Good spin move by number 25 from Conval. 25 versus 25. Ball's down, but it looks like uh, Conval got the timeout just in time. And the Bobcats looking to come back from their deficit here. 9-7, Conval. And we're back here. Looks like the Cougars are going to start off with the ball here. And they get a touch. I wouldn't be surprised if they just... Try to run away from the Bobcats. Try to stall them. And it looks like what they're doing, I'm, I'm assuming. Cruz offense, top of the box right now, trying to work something. Ethan Richard playing tight on number 11 for tight. the Cougars. Tight. <coughs> Cougars are really moving the ball around quick right now. We got 442 left in the fourth quarter. Cougars are probably trying to get a couple of goals in, but hold the ball, keep their keep their lead safe right now. Rowan Drew really working right now. Number 17, double teaming the ball. And right to Pat Node. A shot that was basically a pass. Looks like he's gonna bring the ball up a little bit until he needs to get rid of it. Two Hodges, and the ball is on the ground again. It's 2v1, 2v1, ground ball. Hodges trying to... 2v4. And looks like the Cougars are coming up with it. Oh wait, now it's back to the Bob, back to the Bobcats as Josh Johnson has it. Fakes out his his man, gives it, shoots a strike right to Ethan Richard. Ethan Richard ball down. Back to Morrell. McGowan. That's no, Morrell. Oh no, that's McGowan, not Ethan Richard. Rather. Bobcats and making a call, working the ball down. Gonna see if there's any good opportunities here. A lot of energy on the field right now. It's looking good. Oh, Number 29, Tyler 29. Morrison with another goal, breaking the lead down to 8 9, 325 left in the fourth quarter. Tyler Morrison coming in clutch here as he diminishes the lead to one for the Conval Cougars. Conval Cougars looking a little bit distraught here as they have a huddle in front of the goal again. Trying to keep their heads straight here as Bobcats might be coming back with uh, one of the best comebacks in NHI AA Division Three Boys Lacrosse history. Bobcats are looking ready to go. Zach Ross, number 14 on the faceoff. Jake Little, 25, and Austin Appleby, number one on the wings, looking for some support. 
Really, Bobcats are running their regular offense right now, trying to really break into the heads of Conval Cougars. Ooh. Procedure on blue. white ball. White ball. Right now, the game is working in favor for the Bobcats. See if we can tie up the game or bring a lead right now. Walking on Morrison. Morrison deadly here. Right now the ball's with Morris or Morrell. And the Bobcats take a timeout and we'll be back as the Bobcats are only losing by one here. 9-8 Conval with 3.04 remaining in the last quarter. And we're back here, viewers, to an exciting matchup uh, against the Conval Cougars and the Plymouth Bobcats. Clock's winding down here uh, with only 3.04 remaining in the, uh, in the fourth quarter. Bobcats are down by one. Score is 9-8. And it's the Bobcats ball, and anything can happen here in the cross. Now, Bobcats only have two minutes and 55 seconds to work this possession. Get two goals if they want to win this game. And that's the first shot missed. And looks like the goal he's taking his sweet time to give a clear here. He might be playing a little catch here. I wouldn't be surprised. Number eight looking to clear it, though. Right now, Conval's definitely trying to get the touch and probably just hold Ooh. the offensive possession. Rosner's really working number eight right now, trying to scare him a little bit. This could be a good opportunity for the Bobcats, really, recover this ball and possibly break down this lead again. We got 221 left, 8 9 in the fourth quarter. And this could be a very exciting finish here in the last, in the final, in the final, um, final minutes here. And we're just waiting for things to happen here. Plymouth defense pretty tight on Conval. Conval has given up three unanswered for the Plymouth Bobcats. Great save by Chris Patnode. Patnode looking to give a, give a clear here for the Bobcats. Looks right to Rosner. Ball is a little bit overhead. Number eight for the Conval defense recovers it. Already running back down the field. Freeing a doe for that hit, but he stays Great stop. onside. To Rosner. Rosner looking to get something here going with only 138 remaining. And gives it to Farina. Farina with a clutch play. And right and into it's a the stop. chest, unfortunately. That's a stop. I've never heard Plymouth so quiet. Everyone was in silence. And for it's that. staying here. It, it is, is staying here. White ball. Looks like we're going to be on the wing with number 27 for the Bobcats, Ethan Richard. We'll have to see if number 28, Nolan Farina, has anything for the Bobcats. Right now he's looking like pretty dirty from getting on the ground a lot, trying to make Ball's a lot of plays. Balls on the ground, balls on the ground. And it looks like it's going to come up Conval. Balls on the ground, goalie's out, goalie's out. Ball and is out. out. Number 18 on the Cougars. Hit the ball, swung the ball out of bounds. Number 27, Ethan Richard for the Bobcats with the ball. We got a minute and five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Right now we have Morrell with the ball and the Bobcats have a lot of energy. And really we're under a something. minute. We're under a minute, folks. And this could be the last, we're in the last seconds here and the final solution here. <laughs> I didn't mean to say the final solution. The final. This could easily be a overtime We got game. two on Nolan Farina. Number nine, Matt Rosner taking the ball below the goal line. We're going to see if he has anything in store for the Bobcats. Looks like he might be calling a play with Nolan Farina. A good pass, and the ball is down. Was Maybe a push. Maybe a push. Right now it is three on one for the ground ball, and Conval nice recovers. Conval's ball. And there's 23 seconds remaining here. Anything can happen, though. It is lacrosse. Bobcats looking for possible interception. Try to recover this ball, not let Conval run the time down. You got 18 seconds. And we're under 10. Oh, ball is out of bounds on the Bobcats' end. And five we got seconds, five seconds for the rest of our lives here for the Plymouth Bobcats. Patton puts his whole entire body into it. Oh, oh, collision number nine and, oh. and that is the end for the Bobcats. And it looks like we have senior captain Matt Rosner down. 
as that was a very hard collision between the two.